my name is Alex and this is a tutorial about the use of timers in Borland Delphi 7 for Windows. Now, timers are tools that allow events to be carried out in a wanted interval of time. So, uh, they are located in the system part of your tool interface and uh, a timer looks like a small clock. Let's make one. Of the properties it has enabled which can have the value of true or false as you can see if it's true it will function properly if it's false it won't do anything in the interval which uh, is the time between the events and uh, it's in milliseconds so if you want uh, something to happen like every five seconds you type 5000 instead of just five name and tank uh, Alright, we're gonna start by manipulating a shape. Uh, let's make it a green circle. Alright, now for starters we're gonna make it move around randomly with the following code. Randomize shape one dot uh, left gets the value of random of 400 and shape one dot top gets the value of random of 400 uh, the 400 and 400 part is the range which we can move in so let's see what we got as you can see the circle is moving randomly in the range I gave it Alright, uh, now we're gonna copy this circle two times. Uh, just a second. Alright, we're gonna copy it two times. And we're gonna use timers to make traffic lights. Now, we're gonna make the center circle olive, which is a darker version of yellow, and the uh, upper one mirrored which is a darker version of red now we're gonna make the body of the traffic light just to make it seem a bit more realistic like this uh, right rounds rect yeah good uh, bring to back and it's gonna be black or let's say yeah black all right now it looks a bit more like your traffic lights uh, we're gonna make three more timers for this now this can be done with uh, even two timers but uh, that requires a bit more code and for the purposes of this tutorial it's uh, more trouble than, than it's worth really we're gonna set uh, timer 2 enabled to be false same with timer 3 and timer 4 now uh, we're gonna delete the old code for the random moving around uh, the idea is for every timer to do a transition between two colors so shape one dot brush dot color gets the value of uh, color green green is uh, the darker color than you see on the screen at the moment uh, so shape 2 dot brush dot color gets the value of color yellow this will make the yellow light turn on so to speak now timer one dot enabled gets the value of false that means we're switching off this timer and timer two dot enabled gets the value true now we're gonna do this uh, code uh, basically in every timer but we're gonna change uh, the shape names and the colors of course so timer two let's see this is the same code now so this needs to see this needs to do a transition between 
the yellow circle and the red circle so we're gonna make shape two here instead of one and we're gonna make uh, olive instead of green and shape three here instead of shape two and color red this will make the yellow light turn off and the red light turn on so to speak timer two will now be false and timer three will be activated alright so again for the next timer copying this code so now this needs to do the transition between the red light and the yellow light so here we need shape 3 instead of shape 2 and color needs to be maroon I think that's what it was called and here we need shape 2 instead of shape 3 and color needs to be yellow now this timer gets switched off and the timer 4 gets switched on now again copying this code I'm just copying it so I don't have to write it all over again this is much faster so this needs to do the transition between the yellow and the green light so shape 2 dot brush dot color gets the value of uh, color olive and shape 1 dot brush dot color gets the value of color lime that's the green you see on the screen at the moment this timer gets the value false and uh, the timer 1 gets activated alright so let's see what we got now alright so as you can see the lights is, are switching but uh, as you probably noticed this isn't how your regular traffic lights look so first of all we need to make uh, the green light and red light last longer and we're gonna do this by changing the interval on timer 1 to let's say 5000 and same with timer 3 5000 alright let's see what we've got now alright now the time is a bit more real but still we got a problem uh, the transition between the red light, yellow and green doesn't look like this on your traffic lights uh, when uh, red gets turned on it stays on and at one moment yellow turns on and then they both turn off uh, and the green turns on so we're gonna fix that by uh, making the red light shut down not at timer 3 but at timer 4 so we're just gonna cut and paste it to timer 4 and now it should be working properly so this is how it looks like at the end uh, if you have any questions about this topic feel free to write a comment on YouTube I hope you find the tutorial helpful and interesting so see ya